I quickly want to talk to you on behalf of your fat friend. Let's face it, every circle of friends have the one fatty in it. If you're going, we don't, it's you. <laughs> and on behalf of that fat friend, can I just ask you to stop inviting us to yoga? <laughs> we don't want to go, because you do that shit on the floor. And fat people don't do shit on the floor. <laughs> it's not comfortable. If you've ever seen a fatty on the floor, it's because we've fallen over. <laughs> you weigh exactly what we weigh or more, don't offer to help us, huh? Because you always get the skinny one in the pack running up, planting her foot, and as soon as you see it, you go, shit, no. They go, let me help you, like, that's adorable, doll, but you lose a fucking arm in this. So unless you start doing yoga on chairs, we don't want to be a part of it. Namaste. Namaste right here till I lose enough weight to get back up again. It was great to be back in Australia. I, um, I was actually violently attacked end of the year last year. Um, I was doing a gig in Melbourne, and um, as I was standing on stage, a massive spider <laughs> fell from the curtain, and it landed on my shoulder. And it was so big, it actually hurt my shoulder in the fall. And I looked at it, and we made eyes contact. <laughs> and I screamed like a little boy. just looked at me and <laughs> basically saying, harden up, asshole. I couldn't, because your relationship with spiders and shit is not healthy, you know that. You know that. Like, I realise I've become soft living in New Zealand, right? Because in South Africa, where I'm from, everything can kill you and actively tries on a daily basis. <laughs> You've got spiders, snakes, scorpions, other people. Everything wants to fuck you up. That's why people will say to you, South Africans are so aggressive, man. They're such assholes. And go, we're not. We're just ready. <laughs> we're always ready. We can't be, you know, Kiwis and Aussies, you're laid back people. You're a laid back fucking people. We can't just sit at home oiling our beards. <laughs> and all of a sudden, there's a lion in the lounge. Now you have to go from down here and get super aggressive to protect your family. Nah, we're here. We're half fucked off all the time. <laughs> so we're ready. So now I know when I come over to Australia, I know I've gone soft because in New Zealand, nothing can kill you, nothing. The cops aren't even armed. <laughs> they don't have guns, they don't have pepper spray, they don't have tasers, they're just armed with really good manners. <laughs> If a New Zealand police officer wants to stop you, this is how they do it. Hey, Barry, because everyone knows everyone. <laughs> hey, Barry, can you stop, please? <laughs> Come now, Barry. <laughs> please? <laughs> All right, I'll see you next week. Say hi to your mom. <laughs> in South Africa, the approach is different. They shoot you in half, and then they investigate your suicide. <laughs> So then when I come over, the first time I come over to Australia, I went to Adelaide. I went to visit my friend, Kerry, and she's lovely, and we went to her house in the hills, and as we walked in, there was a black poodle sitting on a wall, and it was so big that it was buckling the wall. And I turned to her, I said, Jesus Christ, Kerry, you've got a black poodle on your wall, and it's so big, it's buckling the fucking wall. <laughs> and she looked at it, and she goes, aha, uh -huh, now that's a huntsman. <laughs> spin a web, you're not a fucking spider. <laughs> then you're somewhere between a pit bull and a footy player. <laughs> I'm like, that, is it wearing size four Nikes? <laughs> I was like, that shit is out of control. She looks at me, she goes, you know, you don't have to worry about spiders. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. <laughs> like, what a crock of shit that is. <laughs> They're not scared of us. Like, I'm scared of Barnaby Joyce. I'm not fucking moving in. <laughs> that spot, as soon as Kerry walked out of the room to make us a cup of tea, I'm just looking at it, and it's looking at me. And he took his cigarette, and he flicked it over his shoulder. <laughs> and he looked at me, he goes, you want a piece of me, 